haven't been reviewing Berserk as faithfully as I should, but still, I think about that show every now and again because, again, I really fucking love it. And I do like that over the, uh, over the past few episodes that I've watched, going on to Guts kind of kind of meeting, say Guts and the crew meeting um, Shelk and, him, uh, and, and her giving them all their magical weapons and everything, and then putting the seals on, and them dealing with all those trolls like at the village and everything, and how and how one little mishap kind of led on to, or at least in the previous episode of them leading into a den, well now the den of the trolls and the trolls like just kidnapping women and raping them so that they can give birth to more of more troll babies and shit. So. So again, the series has been has been very disgusting, but at but at the same time, it's felt very satisfying. Honestly, I've even been been liking the change in the art style. But then again, I've never really had too many problems with the art style to begin with. So it's been okay with me. But again, what happened in the previous episode? Well, Salan came in and were. <laughs> Or in this case, the whore princess, as um, Skull Knight calls her. And apparently, Guts and her kind of have a tiny battle. However, she is... I, I will say she is one of, one of the more interesting guy hand members. Not necessarily because she wants, she wants to die, but because she likes getting her body torn apart. So even though, even though if, if the Dragon Slayer, which has been bathed in the blood of a thousand fucking demons demons and fucking uh, astral beings which does give it the ability to kind of cut into otherworldly beings in this case it being it well at this point the god slayer kind of works on the fucking vampire killer um, killer rules in which that it is so fucking powerful now if, if you saw that death battle it is so fucking powerful now to where that it can harm ast um, astral beings even death itself so so again that's an interesting thing so again, with the Dragon Slayer itself being one of the only weapons out there which can kill God Hand members, well, yeah, this does kind of lead into to um, some interesting shit. However, this week's chapter, um, this week's uh, episode, sorry, I have been reviewing a lot of manga, but this week's, excuse me, uh, episode, it does, it does talk about the Berserker armor, and. I'm actually happy because this was that fucking moment that I was actually waiting for. This was the longest moment that I have been waiting for. And it is the Berserker, or at least when Guts actually gets the Berserker armor. And a quick rundown, that is by, well, if you saw the chapter, like, before he, fucking like, before Guts actually kind of, um, um, uh, went uh went into the fight in this chapter he was actually hurt on the astral plane like his actual spirit was hurting but when they applied the berserker armor all the pain kind of went away and it seems as though as that his fucking um uh, his fucking inner demons are slowly starting to come out and take over again because because again he does have his fighting prowess back but again, the but again, if you know anything about the the uh, Berserker armor, when it slowly starts to morph and change, like into to his wolf self, he becomes the most dangerous fucking person in um uh, in the group. Which that he actually becomes dangerous to 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 uh, his friends friends and everybody else around him. Actually, kind of taking on the the name of the series Berserk. So so that is something. So, all I can say is that I'm happy that he does have the, the uh, Berserker armor, and he's about to beat the shit, shit out of that goddamn um, uh, knight that was fucking with him. However, little fun fun fact, though, is that um, I recently found out that the uh, Berserker armor, it is actually the armor that, that once belonged to the Skull Knight. Because, again, if you look at the helmet and the armor itself, it looks very, very similar to... Um, to the Skull Knight's design and also his armor, and also it seems though that that is the armor in which that he died in. Now originally I was thinking that Skull Knight was one of the apostles, but apparently he's not. So that is an interesting fact. But until then, that is what I gotta say about that. Sorry for the drop in lighting. I'll see you on the next John Graves show. I'm out. Tell me, what, tell me and tell me what do you think. Later.